Hey, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in. It is October 14, 2019, 10.38 p.m. My time here along the west coast and we do have an earthquake coming into the San Francisco Bay Area. You can see that showing up uh, rather nicely on Mammoth Lakes, the station right here. And also the stations closer to the Bay Area, which would include stations such as the San Andreas Fault System here on Hol in Hollister, California also showed up uh, quite nicely as well down in uh, China Lake, California, right around the Ridgecrest area. This is all coming off an earthquake that is centered uh, right around the Bay Area of California here. Let me see if I can uh, readjust that here. Just added that map on here, so I need to do a quick adjustment like always. It never fails. So there we go. That way we can see what we're looking at without the uh, super transparency there. See the red square indicating a uh, recent earthquake right there, right smack dab, right around the Bay Area of California. I don't even know the magnitude of this yet. I just happen to see it pop up on the seismographs here. Now this is a 4.7 and a 4.5 showing up here. If you guys can see that um, in the list of earthquakes there, pretty significant uh, quake activity here. Pull this up here a little bit so you guys can see, hopefully. You can see 4.5, 4.7. Uh, now these earthquakes here look like they took place within about a second of each other. So this may be revised. Um, this may not be two specific earthquakes. It may just be one. Um, so we'll have to see what the USGS decides to go with here. Either way, earthquake uh, coming into the Bay Area, 4.7, 4.5, right around Pleasant Hill, California. And right around Berkeley, California. In between Berkeley and Concord, California. Looks like on the... Uh, which fault system is that there? That is the, um, I can't remember the name of that fault system here, but uh, anyway, folks, uh, I'll have to check this out a little bit further and see, uh, I'm sure there's no doubt quite a few people, uh, report, reported feeling this earthquake here. Um, let's see here, 4.5, that one looks like it got downgraded a little bit here, so either way, um, yeah, I only see one specific earthquake right there showing up on the seismograph stations there. And it looks like on the Earthquake 3D Bell, uh, or Earthquake 3D Globe, they're showing a 4.5 right there in the Bay Area. So that 4.7 looks like it may just be a, a false alarm. But either way, pretty good sized quake out there, folks. Um, I do want to jump on here real quick and check out which specific fault system this was located on here. Um, I'm going to attempt to do this without causing too much uh, uh, too much ruckus here this is all live so I am having to do a couple um, change arounds here to show you guys exactly what I'm seeing here on my screen uh, let's zoom in here and we can take a look at the uh, specific fault system here I want to get this video uploaded and out as quick as possible but I also am here on the live stream. So let's go with the terrain, uh, US faults. And then from there, we can get a better picture of where uh, the specific earthquake took place uh, and on which fault system here. So I do have my nephew here as well. So he probably won't let me do this for too much longer, but maybe if I give him this, that's a secret remote control. I can't tell you what that goes to. But uh, let's see here, let's see. There's Walnut Creek. This is right off of. Uh, let me see here. You got the uh, Hayward Fault. Looks like it's east of the Hayward Fault system, right north of Walnut Creek here. I'll have to get back on a little bit later and get a specific uh, fault system here. But right now, Concord Fault System and just north just north of the Pleasanton Fault. So anyway, folks, have a good night out there. Stay safe. Uh, I guess the sugar is running through this little guy. So we'll get back to live stream and chat at you folks a little bit later.